Ron and I are at Big Bend National Park in Southwest Texas. This morning we were told about a verdant couple building a nest, but we only found them this afternoon. You can see how much work they've already done. Here you can see them working together, gathering and lining the interior with down. The male and female have chosen a thorny tree and are constructing a nest out of several thousand thorny twigs they gather as they build. The sharp thorns will deter predators from eating the verdant's eggs and chicks. Verdans are tiny birds, not much larger than ruby-throated hummingbirds. They live only in the southwest U.S. and northern Mexico. It's getting late, so we must leave the birds to their nest building. We will return to our cottage and watch the sunset behind the Chisos Mountains. We are back the next morning. The birds have been busy since dawn. Look at the progress they have made. The nest is growing larger and has more of a spherical shape. Here's a challenge, a long thorny twig. Ah, it took some gymnastics, but they did it. Notice how the verdant is using its body to shape the nest into a sphere. The verdants are making the nest walls thick to keep the nest cooler during the sizzling summer days and warmer during the cold nights. This is a desert. They have oriented the entrance so it will catch the cooling winds during the heat of the day. Earlier in the year, when it is chilly, they would have placed the entrance on the other side, away from the cool prevailing winds. The Verdans are not taught by their parents how to construct a nest. The instructions are found in their DNA. Time out for what makes the nest necessary. Mating! The finishing defensive touch is placing a thorny twig over the entrance. Easier said than done. Finished! Two days in the making and as many as 2,000 twigs.